Yeah, that looks really good. Yeah, and they match really well. Yeah. Are you okay with this for real? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay. everyone we have something kind of exciting probably not probably more gross than exciting um, to do today but before that I have to take Leon to therapy he has a very late therapy today it's at 5 p.m. so kind of late kind of weird but you know we'll work with it are you excited to go to therapy buddy no not so much <laughs> it's PT you like PT yeah, you like PT. Let's go. So while I take Leon to therapy, John and Theo are gonna stay here. And John's got some work to do. You're already sweating. <laughs> I'm already sweating. <laughs> so, we got a new toilet. <laughs> like I said, it's probably more gross than anything. Don't worry, we're not gonna show like the hookup process just, you know, afterwards when it's nice, fresh, clean, brand new toilet. Um. We live in an RV, and um, the toilets in RVs are interesting, to say the least. Um, they work, they function, you know, but they don't flush the same as a normal toilet. They kind of just, like, open and drop into your uh, black water tank. And when it does open, things not only are able to go down, but smells are able to come up. <laughs> Your toilet has a, it's called a trap and it just goes yeah. like this. Right, and there's water stays in that which keeps any smells from like coming back up. But ours doesn't have that because it's the RV toilet. So we're gonna fix that problem today. Well, John is. Here you go, John. I gotta take Leon to therapy. Have fun! <laughs> so Jody signed me up to do the toilet by myself. And um, so we have our custom ordered toilet and it says inspect immediately upon arrival so let's open it up and inspect it so the first part is the tank lid look how small it is I know that this is like a smaller toilet for like a home residential style RV that's supposed to fix all the problems we have but oh my gosh it's small I'm used to those big heavy ones okay and now we have it out of the box it has the double flushy McFlushes, which is what this is. We got some more little hardware stuff. A wax seal that I can't use. We actually have to go buy a different wax seal, but that's fine. We knew that coming in. And I don't know why. But you can buy the most expensive toilet on the entire planet and they always come with the cheapest seat in the entire planet. So while I'm at Lowe's anyways, I'll go ahead and grab another wooden seat. We really like the way that the wooden seats feel and the way that they look and like how solid they are. Um, we have a wooden seat that we use now and we really, really like it and it came with a cheap plastic seat. So it would be super nice if I could just switch these toilets real quick but um unfortunately i have to do just a little bit of work before i can do that so let's go see what i gotta do so the first thing that i have to do is i have to come out here to behind the rv and turn the water off hook up the other water hose turn it on and start flushing the tank and empty the toilet and make sure there's no water running in the toilet turn the water off Grab the hose. And now that I've done that, so I'll clean that toilet up. Um, actually, Leon's papa wants it for his RV because he has a, a plastic model, so he's gonna put the porcelain model in his. And um, so I'm not throwing it away. Whew, and we are back, but I have run into a problem. <laughs> the issue, is this PEX line right here. When they made the PEX line, I guess they made it as small as they could for the original toilet. Now that being said, it's a super easy fix. 
Um, I think I have most of the tools already. I just have to go get a single tube of PEX. And it already has a toilet adapter, but I need an elbow. So I'm going to take an elbow, take two elbows. Um, so yeah, it'll, it'll be about 20 bucks worth of hardware. But it shouldn't be that hard. And then once I hook the toilet back up, I can turn the water back on. Um, the seal and everything went in beautifully. I thought I was going to have to get another seal from Home Depot. Someone said they had to get an extra one. But it was a normal 10 inch rough in hole. So I didn't need to get another seal because that's what this is, is a 10 inch rough in. So I guess as long as you buy what you need to get the first time, it'll go right in. One thing that I don't care for, but it was this way for the old toilet too, is when they put this in, it wasn't exactly even. It's just a tiny bit offset to the right. So when I put this one in, it's still a tiny bit offset to, offset to the right. But everything works. Everything's hooked up. Um, I did pour the chemicals in it. There weren't any leaks. I would see orange leaks everywhere if there was something wrong with the wax seal because I did pour enough in it for it to flush. Now, the water that you hear running now is just from the black flush where I wanted to super, super clean it out since I was installing a new toilet. And I'll go out right now probably and just disconnect that. And it should be nice and clean at that point. And then I'll just go ahead and close that. And then we will have to do this once a week. We'll have to dump the black tank because if we don't, we have a chance of water overflowing. So we'll just have to schedule it in every Friday, you know, dump the black tank. And guess who just came in? It's, Is that the toilet? Yeah, the old one. You already got it out? Yeah. Does it smell real bad? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I want to see the progress you've made. Okay. Leon did really good, didn't you? Yeah. It was so fun. And he got, um, I'll show you when we get inside, but he got this little belt thing where you like hold the back of it so it's easier to help him walk. Oh, cool. And she got some ace bandages to wrap his legs to where they go kind of outward where he puts his feet in when he walks. Yeah. It helps him a lot. I'll show you. All right. But you did great. Surprisingly, I don't think it smells in here. I think it's maybe just where you were like right up against it, oh, you know? Maybe. Yeah, so it looks really good. It fit perfectly. I was so worried because our wall is like catty cornered, Yeah. you know? So I was like so worried that it wasn't gonna fit, but it did, so that's awesome. I guess we're gonna go get a new toilet seat, right? Yeah. I kind of wanted to go to Home Depot anyways, John. Well, Lowe's is the closest. You want to go to Lowe's? Yeah. Do you know why I want to go? I know why you want to go. <laughs> Should I tell them? <laughs> sure. So this is our kitchen. I mean, it's really nice. You know, it's updated. It's pretty. But it is very drab. It's very dark. It's very drab. It's very just... Not me, you know what I mean? I like a bright, colorful, beautiful kitchen, you know? So, I have this idea. Somehow, I talked John into it. I don't know how. He must have, like, been in a good mood or something. But he was immediately just like, yeah, sure, let's do it. So, I am wanting to paint these little, like, borders on the cabinet doors. Not the middle part, not this part, just these little, like, borders and I want to paint them multiple colors <laughs> like a big like kind of like fiesta wear colors if you're familiar with that hey buddy did you have a good time with daddy yeah do you want to go shopping what do you think yeah what you doing you gonna roll over oh, did you take his toy oh are you cleaning up Thank you for picking up toys, buddy, but I think he was playing with that still. <laughs> Why are your glasses on the floor? Here, let's put these back on, okay? All right, let's go shopping, buddy. Here we are at Lowe's. Ready to go get some paint? And a toilet seat. Yeah, but a toilet seat's not as fun. Nobody cares about that part, John. <laughs> we are at the paint section. Um, I know that this is not cabinet paint, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine, guys. 
Um, we've decided on our blue and our red. We're still looking at other colors. I think I want to get yellow, green, and purple. I just don't know what shades, and there are so many that it's really hard to choose. Did you find any that you liked? Well, I think I like this chickadee color right here. Chickadee? The one in the middle? Yeah. Yeah, I, that's good because I didn't want it to be like too bold. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want it to look like a kindergarten room. <laughs> exactly. I think we have these colors picked out. It's the one in the middle. All of them, straight down the middle. I think that's what we're gonna go with because they're kind of like not really like popping in your face or anything but they are definitely colorful yeah that looks really good yeah and they match really well yeah. are you okay with us for real yeah. all right let's do it okay since we're not painting like a huge amount i think one of these little sample jars will do just fine don't you think so okay, okay and we can always get more if we need it yeah yeah so we've got our paint Primer, sandpaper, toilet seat, lid, all the good stuff. Are you ready to go home now? Ready to go. I'm so excited to paint. Me oh my too. gosh. All right, guys. Let's show you everything that we got. Paint sticks, you know. <laughs> I got these sponge paint brushes instead of the bristle ones because I've always heard that these don't really leave brush strokes so much as like the bristle ones do. And obviously I don't want brush strokes, you know, so. We got some primer. It is just like a basic white um, paint and primer because, you know, you gotta prime it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't just paint on that brown and expect it to be perfect. Right. And some little sand sponges. I got sponges instead of the paper because I'm hoping this will help like save my fingertips a little bit better. Because if you guys have ever sanded without like gloves on, oh my gosh, you sand your fingertips. And it is awful. So I'm hoping these will be a little bit better. I just got a medium grade because I don't want it to be like rough, but it needs to come off. So, you know. Yeah. Mm. And I got one of these, which might be a little strange. Try. But I'm going to hold it against the cabinet and then paint that way I don't have to tape anything and it's just easier to do that hi buddy hi hey say hi daddy <laughs> and then we got five things of paint we just got the little sample paints because it's not that much that we have to paint so I'm hoping this is enough if not we can go back and get like another little sample thing plus these were like what four dollars yeah and the can is like forty dollars so, <laughs> yeah yeah Ooh. So that looks nice pretty. on camera oh wow it does look like a berry so it looks like willy wonka Ooh. oh so pretty Ooh. oh wow all right and now it is time for the birthday shout outs so happy birthday to elizabeth happy birthday to peach Happy birthday to Anita, happy birthday to Sunny, happy birthday to Ryan, and happy birthday to Charlotte. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.